Hello and welcome to the pilot program for the ABS News, a satirical outlook to Maltese politics. I am Sandra Gauci, your anchor woman, and tonight I'm going to go through, in a satirical and hopefully fun way, the news in Malta. Please do not get offended and do not fight. Let's start with the first news. After a lot of thought, the government has decided to scrap both the Independence and Freedom Day. Both will be replaced by a new feast, to be known as Kurnuti Talbaranin. The celebration is set to last one week, as this is the time calculated for all the people of all the nationalities present in Malta to greet each other. The leader of the opposition, Adrian Dalia, hasn't yet reacted to this decision, as it takes him exactly one week to understand a simple statement and another week to issue a reaction. Speaking of PN, according to the numbers present at the recent independence celebrations, it came out that there weren't enough people present to fill in a Costa Coffee loyalty card and get a free coffee. Rumors about the running for the next PL leader are thriving. Ian Borg is rumored to be running to take Muscat's place. Borg has fiercely denied that he does any sort of running. He gets driven into it. Alianza Democratica has lost its pillars, Marlene and Godwin Farrugia. The void will be filled by a barking chihuahua as being loud, noisy insignificant and partial to drama is a necessity. The Chihuahua was deemed as fitting the bill. And we come to our last news. The WWF, World Wide Fund for Nature, has decided to represent teachers all over the world as the breed is fast becoming extinct. It is becoming impossible to find people capable of living on a measly wage with an, obsession, with an obsession for googly eyes, empty toilet rolls and PVA glue. Thanks for your time. These were the news for today. Like my page, I'm Sandra Gauci. Thanks for listening.